Steffi Kuntz and um, on the City Council in Doraville in District 3 and recently elected this November. I've been thinking about running for City Council for 15 years and I believe that from friends talking to me and other people I asked that I was unelectable because I was transgender. And after the election in November 16, 2016, I felt devastated by the direction I felt our country was going in. I was very worried about what was going to happen to not only myself as an LGBT person, but what was going to happen with the immigrant community in America. And it made me really sad. Went to the Women's March this spring and felt really empowered seeing so many progressive people coming out uh, that felt this was not the new normal, that they were ready for change. And so when a city council seat came up this spring or this summer, uh, I saw it was going to be running uncontested and I didn't think that that was right either, that the voters needed a choice. And so I signed up to run. Very excited for the transgender community that we finally have a voice in government and that we are not seen as outcasts, that we are, I feel in some ways it's broke a glass ceiling, that we are now seen. The, um, the other thing is I hope it empowers other people in marginalized groups, whether they're Latino or Asian or any other groups like that, that it empowers them that they can also run for city government or state government or federal government and be elected and not be scared to run just because of who they are. My main message to the Latino community is that they need to vote. When I was running, campaigning, I noticed that very few Hispanic voters in that are labeled that in my voter lists which we have access to. We don't know how you vote, but we know that you do vote or if you don't vote. And there were only a handful of Hispanic people that came up on the list as people who vote. There's a lot of Latino residents that are registered to vote, but for whatever reason, they're not coming out to vote. If you don't vote, you don't have a voice. And I want y'all to have a voice.